Yes, hello everyone. My name is Claudia Gonzalez and I live in Orlando, Florida, just like uh, Sheila in sunny Florida. Although it's pretty cold right now, but <laughs> cold for <laughs> us, I guess. Um, yes, I was diagnosed in 2018, uh, in March of 2018, with uh, metastatic breast cancer. Um, and I went through the treatments and, uh, which included chemotherapy and, um, oral, uh, oral chemo as well. Uh, also, um, the mastectomy to my right breast was, uh, done at the end of 2018. Uh, and I have radiation through uh, to my um, spine, which because uh, my metastasis was in the bones uh, of my spine, and I actually uh, did pretty well with all the treatment and all that. I just want to mention also with uh, the triple negative is a very aggressive uh, cancer. So I was treated really aggressively as well. I am, um, was really um, pleased with my medical team and how quickly everything, everything came about uh, and from my diagnosis to the treatment that I went through. Uh, I was actually uh, no evidence of, of uh, cancer cells for about two and a half years. And then in um, June of 2021, I was diagnosed again, triple negative, stage three. Uh, a lump was found on my left breast this time. And I, at, the, at that point, I went also through uh, chemotherapy and, and no radiation that time, thank God. And... Um, what else did I have? Oh, and then I had the mastectomy. And uh, after, like at the end of 2021, um, my oncologist decided to do a, a genomic testing on my on my uh, lamp. And luckily that that was done. And uh, a, a PDL1 mutation was found in my in my um lump and I started with immunotherapy. Uh, I did immunotherapy for a year and at the end of this month it would be a year since I finished my immunotherapy. <laughs> so yes, uh, uh, I'm not in treatment right now and I pray that I will keep this way. Um, I do have a scans uh, regularly, and uh, my scans are actually coming up in a couple of weeks. Uh, so I'm anxious, like everyone else. That before before all the scans is, uh, we get a scan anxiety. So I'm really anxious about the results, um, but we'll see. We'll see what happens. So hoping not to get in, you know, not to, uh, that not, nothing is wrong, that everything keeps going, keeps going as it, it is right now, and that I'll continue as uh, no evidence. Uh, I'm very excited to be part of the group of uh, surviving breast cancer. Um, right now, I'm in the path of uh, getting trained as a Latino research advocate. And I'm extremely excited about that uh, and hoping to share as much information as I can with uh, everybody. Thank you, Claudia. Yes, Barbara Seguera, who is a professor uh, in Puerto Rico, uh, got a wonderful grant and this is the first class of uh, Latina advocates who are getting trained. And so we'll be having a webinar sometime this year about that particular uh, uh, initiative. And I'm sure Claudia will be sharing a little bit more about that. I'm getting a little feedback, Claudia. Are you able to mute yourself?
There we go. Anyway, sometimes the StreamYard is quite an interesting platform. So we're very excited to have uh, that information to be able to share uh, because not only are people of Latin descent very much underrepresented in clinical trials, there are very few advocates who come from a background where they're speaking Spanish, where there are cultural differences and things like that. And everybody misses out when we are not including uh, the people who are going to be affected by clinical trials. Uh, so we're really excited for the results of that particular training program. So we'll be hearing more from Claudia and hopefully Barbara on uh, what they were uh, planning to do with that and, and all of that. So stay tuned for more information. 